In this video, I will present about the characteristic of normal P wave and common P wave abnormalities. P wave is the first positive deflection on the EKG. P wave represents atrial depolarization. Atrial depolarization proceeds sequentially from the right to the left. The right atrium depolarization is followed by the left atrium. P wave is the combination of both right and left atrial waveforms. In the figure, right atrial depolarization is colored yellow and left atrial depolarization is colored blue. The first one-third of P wave corresponds to right atrial depolarization, the final one-third corresponds to the left atrial depolarization, and the middle one-third is the combination of the two. The duration of P wave should be less than 120 milliseconds, or three small squares. The amplitude or height of P wave should not be greater than 2.5 millimeters in limb leads, and 1.5 millimeters in chest leads. In 12 lead EKG, P wave is monophasic, directed upward in most leads, and inverted in AVR. Sometimes, Biphasic P wave may be seen in V1. Early right atrial activities are directed towards V1, giving rise to an initial positive deflection, followed by left atrial activity, directed away from V1 producing a later negative deflection. Therefore, in lead V1, the initial positive deflection represents the right atrial depolarization, and the subsequent negative deflection represents left atrial depolarization. Atrial abnormalities can be observed in the inferior leads, that is lead 2, 3 in AVF, and V1, because P waves are most prominent in these leads. Common P wave abnormalities are as follow. P mitrali, also called bifid, or notched P waves, seen with left atrial hypertrophy. P pulmonale, also called peaked P waves, seen with right atrial hypertrophy, P wave inversion, seen with ectopic atrial and junctional rhythms, and variable P wave morphology, seen in multifocal atrial tachyarrhythmia. Bifid P waves in lead 2 is a feature of left atrial hypertrophy or dilation, typically due to mitral stenosis. It is a significant risk factor for developing atrial fibrillation. In V1, left atrial hypertrophy causes widening, more than 1 mm wide, and deepening, more than 1 mm deep, of the negative portion of P wave. Tall and peaked P waves in lead 2 is a feature of right atrial hypertrophy, usually due to pulmonary hypertension, for example, core pulmonale secondary to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. In V1, right atrial hypertrophy causes increased height, more than 1.5 mm of the initial positive deflection of the P wave. P wave inversion in lead 2 indicates non-sinus origin. When inverted P waves are observed, check the PR interval. Inverted P waves with PR interval more than 120 milliseconds is a feature of ectopic atrial rhythm. If PR interval is less than 120 milliseconds, that is shortened PR interval, the origin is in the AV junction, for example, accelerated junctional rhythm. Different P wave morphologies are due to the multiple ectopic foci within the atria. If three or more different P wave morphologies are seen, and heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute, multifocal atrial tachycardia is diagnosed. Multifocal atrial tachycardia is commonly associated with hypoxia and COPD. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and healthy.